All right, guys, today we're talking about Fibonacci. Um, we're going to talk about what Fibonacci is, um, how this whole thing got started. And we're also going to talk about how to apply it in the market, um, how to use it in a trading strategy, and, uh, you know, why it works. So we're going to start this off today, and we're going to talk about what Fibonacci actually is. Um, Fibonacci is, is simply, I'm sure everybody's heard of uh, Fibo lines. Fibonacci was a mathematician. Um, 13th century, uh, this guy came up with a numbers formula that, that seemed to apply to a lot of things in life, uh, mostly living, creature, uh, living creatures. Um, it was a, a pattern that re reoccurred. Now, traders have taken this concept of, of, of the Fibonacci pattern and applied it to trading. And it's very similar to like trend lines, support and resistance, pivot points, in that it works um, basically because the market believes it works. Uh, again, it's, t it's totally a confidence-based inv indicator um, because if the market's trading FIBOs, then FIBOs will be respected. And that's pretty much the concept as far as my belief in why it works in, in any given market. It's just because traders um, believe in it. I don't think that there's any magical thing about it. You know, um, a lot of people get into Fibonacci real deep. But for me, it's just simply it works because traders believe it works, therefore it does. Um, now, the actual number sequencing for Fibonacci is pretty simple. It's really not complicated. You just take your prior number that you have plus the number you're adding to get your new sum. So uh, 0 plus 1 equals 1. All right? Then you're going to take 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then 2 plus 1. So you're always grabbing the number you just left plus the sum. And you just continue this pattern throughout. You're going to end up with, with 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, on and to infinity, right? So it's a pretty simple pattern that creates these numbers. Now, these are numbers that a lot of traders use. Um, you might recognize some of the numbers. Uh, you got MACD numbers in there. Uh, a lot of moving averages. People like to use FIBO uh, moving averages. Um, but again, in my mind, there's nothing special about the number other than the fact that traders do respect it. Now, um, interesting enough, uh, when we talk about retracement, a lot of you are probably familiar with Fibonacci retracement. We see uh, you know, derivatives of these numbers. Um, you know, we, we see the, the 23.6, the 38.2, the, 38 um, the 61.8, okay? And these levels uh, are actually derivatives of the Fibonacci uh, of the Fibonacci uh, numbers. So we can get into the math behind how all those numbers are formulated, but it really doesn't matter because the bottom line is just about any chart charting software you have, you can draw a Fibo line on, and it's going to calculate it for you. So you don't have to sit down and manually calculate these things. And if you don't have a charting package that allows that, uh, many websites offer free Fibonacci calculator. Um, including ours. So it's very easy to get out there and, and find your Fibonacci numbers on any given movement. All right, so that's that's what Fibonacci is and how uh, it got started. And we're going to move on now to, um, to ways to use Fibonacci. And essentially what, what you're looking for when you're using Fibonacci is you're looking for retracement, or an extension, and we're going to focus on retracements first. We're going to touch a little bit on extensions, but mostly we're going to be focusing on retracement. That's correct. That's correct, Andy. Okay, so when um, you're looking at Fibo lines, well, let's go ahead and pull some up here. So we can uh, get an idea what we're talking about. What 
what you're looking for is you're looking for a fluent pattern movement with very little retrace. Kind of like when we talked about the MACD system, um, where you have this movement without retrace. What you're trying to find is profit taking. And the reason you're trying to find profit taking is because that's what traders use fib FIBO lines for. A lot of times when profit taking comes in or they're taking profit, they're going to stop taking profit when, uh, when they hit a FIBO. Okay? So knowing that, that's the time you want to apply a Fibonacci uh, retracement. This is a daily chart that we're looking at right here, by the way. And um, on this daily chart, you're going to see this, this huge movement down, right? Everybody's probably familiar with this. This is the pound melting over the last you know month and a half, two months. And during this period of time, we saw very little retracement. Saw a little bit of retracement through this level here. But pretty much from top to bottom, we saw very little retracement. We never saw retracement to a FIBO line during this period of time. So we were due to retrace to a FIBO line. So when we get around here, we realize, you know, we might be retracing. And at this point, that's when we want to draw a Fibonacci line to see where we're going to retrace to. That's the whole point of using Fibonacci retracement. So we're going to grab, this is point A, and we're going to pull it down to the very bottom here. Very bottom being the low. Okay? It's point B. Now, why did I grab this and not up here? Because through here, you've got these consolidation candles. You see this? These It sells off, but we retrace. It sells off, but it retraces. You want to find the movement pattern where it sells off and does not retrace. So you want to get this nice fluent move down. That's what you're looking for when you're looking for FIBO. Now you can see how the market reacts to these FIBO lines. You can see here, when we first tested this level, this was a resistance level. And remember, this is a daily chart. So this was very tradable when it happened. Although it did breach it, you can see that this did create resistance. We then follow through to the 50, which on any big move, guys, the 50 is where it's at. In my mind, the 50 is one of my favorite FIB lines to trade because of the fact that it offers um, such good resistance. And you normally do see a 50% uh, retracement on a big move. On almost any trade, it's not always going to happen, but the 50 works pretty well, and we'll get into to why I'll, we like the 50 um, in detail a little bit later. But anyway, so you're going to take the top of a of a, a a a bearish trend to the very bottom, where there's little retracement in between, and you can use this on any time frame. This is a daily. Well, let's take a look at some smaller time frames here and see that this, it applies on any time frame. See again, we're going to grab this top, pull down to your low, and you see 50 fib again. You see, you even have some support here after it breaches, right? You see this fib plays a role in this as resistance. Again, we're looking for the top and the bottom.